nice class winner here to tie into a little more moderate in terms of her size and frame there. Like that about her. I think uh, she just uh, a little nicer in terms of her transition through her shoulder back into her fore rib and just that uh, smoothness that she has. She's very fluid and easy in terms of her movement. As you get her out here, just a real nice, high-quality heifer to tie into there. Female that comes next here in second, a little more weight per day of age, a little more rib shape and turn and just stoutness to her. I really like that in this female quite, quite well. She has more length of body than that class winner. Comes up maybe just a little bit short-stepping, but uh, a real powerful, productive female. Going to make a nice cow. One coming next here in third, uh, definitely appreciate Again, some of that extra dimension that she has, she doesn't quite have the center body and just uh, full rib shape coming down through her lower one third uh, comparison to those two females, but she's presented pretty good. Uh, young lady does a nice job with her. Gets a little trickier from here on down in my opinion, but uh, this young man in the hat to me just has a, a lower input, easier doing type of female. We've got two heifers that we close down the class with that just get to me a little bit harder in terms of their body type a little bit narrower jawed and just a little racy in terms of their kind. So that's why he uh, stays over these two heifers here at the, the bottom. Thank you. Up next will be the early spring heifer calf division championship. First and seconds back in the ring from classes four and five. Here's the results on class five. First place, 5436, Cumberland, 880HCXET, Jacob Nickel, McPherson, Kansas. Second was 5448, Missing Mirage. That is Samantha Schraug from Marion, South Dakota. Third, 5447, Missing Mirage, 841, Taylor White, St. John's, Arizona. Fourth, 5441, that is Golden Girl, Luke Geist, Sheldon, Wisconsin. Fifth, 17. Excuse me, fifth is. Fifth is 1632 in your programs. That is Hall's Irish Reward, Madison Hall, Moscow, Kansas. Sixth is 5440. That is Mick Jays Frost, Riley Eisenhower, Farnham, Nebraska. That right in a 5442 was a scratch. I'll get you the program placings in order in just a moment. In the ring, though, early spring heifer calf division championship. First and seconds from classes four and five. So your program placings for class five are one, six, four, five, three, two. And the 5442 was a scratch. That was the right end. Powerful division here of uh, your Marches and Aprils, and I think they uh, come together just really well. I like all four of these heifers quite a bit. Young people have done a nice job with them out here presenting them. Uh, people in the back uh, that are part of them have really prepared a, an outstanding heifer calf division here in my opinion. Comes down to me one that's just a little more striking uh, as you see her and study her out here. I think she hits you to me just a little bit harder uh, in terms of just that wow factor. Uh, when she stopped and presented, I still get that same feeling uh, when those cattle are on the move and walking. Young lady out of the first class beer division. Give her a nice hand. Use the heifer out of the, the first class that was second to her. I'm going to keep both of those together. Congratulations. Early spring heifer calf division champion comes out of class four. It's 5431. Soul Crystals Lucy 
and as Sarah Rose Sullivan Dunlap, Iowa. The reserve comes from the same class of champion. It's 54-33, Demi's Dream. Cornerstone Farms, Winchester, Indiana. Up next, we have class eight junior heifer calves. Two classes in this division. This is the first of two. Junior heifer calves born February 2nd through February 20th, 2018. Judge once again from Holt, Missouri, Shane Bedwell. Chief Operating Officer, American Hereford Association, and Director of Breed Improvement. Graduated from Butler Community College and also Kansas State University. Got his master's from Illinois. He was a coach for several years at Colorado State University for the livestock judging team. Once again, our judge, Shane Bedwell, Holt, Missouri. Real strong February female here, plenty of performance uh, in this heifer, but I like her. I think there's a lot of good to this female, what she does in terms of her structure, her body type, her build, uh, yet the you know condition on her is, is plenty uh, for where we're at in terms of her age, but I think she still does a lot of things right. A more moderate sized heifer comes next and second. I think the more that you look at this heifer, the more you like her because uh, everything fits in her. 
Uh, she doesn't have quite the performance to run with that heifer today, but uh, I wouldn't give up on her because I see a nice female here in terms of just kind. She's shaped right, uh, good turn to her lower one third, comes really well out of the top of her hip uh, with some pin shape there. A nice heifer that's still fresh and put together really well. And it's those things uh, that kind of keep her over two bigger framed heifers in my opinion. This big stout red uh, heifer coming next here in third has all the bone and just substance and stoutness as you get around behind her, I think up front in her knee is where I'd tweak her just a little bit and give her just a little bit more heart and forerib. Here's a heifer that comes out next here and forth that you really like in terms of that quality. The young man presents her in a very fashionable way. I like that look and symmetry that she has. It's when she kind of gets uh, going. She wants to kink up just a little bit in her top. She doesn't have that lower one third kind of symmetry uh, that I'm after, but a nice heifer. Young ladies coming out next with a very sound athletic heifer long striding good from that standpoint just a little bit plainer though um, but a heifer that definitely has some flesh and soundness about her and then we'll finish up with a heifer that just gives up some of that performance and quality nice job give those uh, young people a nice hand we'll get those results to you in just a moment coming up in the ring will be class number nine junior heifer calves That last class we did have an add-on. It was 54-51. We'll get those results to you in just a moment. As I mentioned in the ring, is class nine. Here's the results on class eight. First place, 54-55, Mona Lisa, Paige Wickard, Wilkinson, Indiana. Second, 54-53, Bell, Riley Schlechter from Abilene, Kansas. Third, 54-54, Steck, Chelsea, C. Hannah Wetzel, Fairbault, Minnesota. Fourth, 54-60, DeGroote, Red Queen, Tyler DeGroote, Edgerton, Minnesota. Fifth, 54-56, Lucky Charm, Jada Wood, McCook, Nebraska. Sixth is a write-in in the program, 54-51. Silver Incarnate, that is Fred and Emily, the Lombowski. In the ring, class nine, junior heifer calves, our second class in this junior heifer calf division.
tremendous class of females here, in my opinion. Uh, gave them another chance to walk around the ring. I think there's a lot of good differences in these cattle. Uh, I call the first four uh, really uh, high quality, and I just couldn't walk away from this one here. Uh, the longer I looked at her, uh, the second time she walks around, she just holds it together so elite in terms of her balance and her quality. I love the symmetry and that front end quality that she has up through that shoulder. She gets out and move, uh, moves really well. To me, she's a little bit more comfortable down in that lower joint and that hock in a comparative sense than the female that comes uh, in second. There's a little more foot size at the ground. Both of these heifers could use a little more base width as I get it behind them and just study them as they walk away. But I like the shape of her neck up top. I think her condition is fresher. She just is a little bit more relaxed down low. This heifer has more shape to her. She has more turn to her top, carries that dimension and shape just a little bit stouter through her lower body. She just doesn't have quite, to me, in my opinion, the eliteness of balance. I like the production of this one a lot. And uh, she's just, to me, a, a little starting to put a little bit more condition down into her chest and over the top of her neck. She's just a little more mature up through that front end in a comparative sense, but I love that power. I love the substance. I love the stoutness of that one when you get in behind her. I like the base width in her. She still moves really, really well. Uh, out here to me though, a uh, little bit bigger, just has a little bit, uh, not quite the, the eliteness of those two heifers uh, from a profile standpoint in front one third. Here's just a good, useful cow in my opinion. Young lady brings here in, in, in fourth one that uh, is definitely big bodied and easy doing ran into a tough glass though congratulations you worked your tail off out here showing her nice job female that'll come next here and in, in fifth another uh, high quality class this is the deepest class that we've had to this point she does a nice job with her presented very well just not quite the pizzazz not quite the style that we get up towards the front end as we work on down uh, two heifers that finish up here. One has a little more performance, a uh, little bit more dimension about her. One is a little bit uh, more attractive up through her front end. Nice, high quality class. Let's give them a nice hand and we'll move on to her division. Thank you. Here's the results on class number nine, junior heifer calves. First place, 5464, CF Margie, CSF Margie, 820, Cornerstone Farms, Winchester, Indiana. Second, 54.65, Sol Max Rosa Knights, Madison McCormick, Dunlap, Iowa. Third, 54.69, Max Rosa Rumor, Samantha Shrog, Marion, South Dakota. Fourth, 54.70, Premium Margie, Maddie Williams, Fountain Run, Kentucky. Fifth, 54.73, Revivals Commodity, Kia Hendrickson, St. Ignatius, Montana. Sixth, 5467, Magic Rain. Brittany Blankenship, Orlando, Oklahoma. Seventh, 5466, Margie Baxter Hudson from Iowa. Placing your program for class nine, back on page five, are as follows. Scratch one, top of the next page, two, seven, six, three, four, five. In the ring, first and seconds. From classes eight and nine for your junior heifer calf division championship. Our judge once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Well, as these uh, two class uh, winners and seconds uh, come around and get set up here for your division, uh, I think you'll find a lot of quality, and I hope you do in all four of these heifers. My congratulations goes to them. Uh, they've done a nice job, and uh, these cattle, I do think, uh, have some future. They have some gas left in their tank, uh, particularly the two that I'm going to go and, and tie to. Uh, really fond of this division winner uh, that's going to win. But uh, congratulations. Give them a nice hand on a job well done. The two out of the second class, I'm going to keep those two heifers together. Congratulations. Junior heifer calf champion and the reserve come from class number nine. Champion is 5464, CF, CSF, Margie, 820HCXET, Cornerstone Farms, Winchester, Indiana. 
the reserve, 54-65. Sol maxed Rosa Knights, 80-44 FET, Madison McCormick, Dunlap, Iowa. Up next, two classes within the senior heifer calf division. Our first of the two classes is number 12, class number 12, winter heifer calves. Good uh, pair of heifers here, both of them. I elected to go with a female to me that uh, just puts together a little bit more lower one third, uh, like the length of body in her. She's just very productive looking in my opinion. Doesn't have quite the hair and pizzazz maybe as the heifer in second and that maybe takes away from what you initially uh, think about her. But I, I, I'm fond of this one. I, I think she's uh, just one of those good low input females. You get underneath and study her teat structure. There's some spread to them. I like that about her go to the paperwork and there's just more spread uh, from birth to yearling and so therefore a little more mating flexibility in this heifer. You'll come next uh, one in second that I like. She's a little bit more upheaded. A uh, young man shows her very well. She's long and has some extension to her. A little bit tighter in her top. Doesn't have quite the shape to her lower one third. And then you get the two heifers out on the move. She's just a little bit tighter down there in her lower ankle. But uh, congratulations, give him a nice hand. Uh, two good uh, heifers, two good exhibitors. Thank you. Up next, the Rainbow Class 13 senior heifer calves just in front of our division championship. Class 12 results winner heifer calves. First place 5475, Peakview Lavender, 1711 ET, Gabriella Leone, Fowler, Colorado. Second 5474, LDB Reckless Melania, 802, Lane Blankenship, Orlando, Oklahoma. Once again, coming to the ring here, this is class 13 senior heifer calves. Two entries just in front of our senior heifer calf division championship. Our judge from Holt, Missouri, Shane Bedwell.
Another good uh, pair of heifers here, both highly presented. I like the female that uh, comes next, like her frame size. Uh, the turnover, I think, is a little more genuine. As you study her from front to rear, she gets around the ring to me and moves just a little uh, easier out here. I like her bulbous size and the placement of it uh, as well, just a little bit better. Uh, just a real nice, productive female. The one that'll come second here definitely has more bone and substance about her. A heifer that hits you pretty hard when she comes to the ring. A little taller female though, in my opinion, for all the frame that she has, I'd like to see just a little bit more shape and just more, just be a little bit more genuine uh, all the way through, but a nice heifer, congratulations. Up next will be the Senior Heifer Camp Division Championship. Here's the results on class 13. First place, 54-79, Princess Caitlin. Logan Mask, Covington, Georgia. Second, Dreamer, Sarah Rose Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Judge once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri, Chief Operating Officer of American Hereford Association and the Director of Breed Improvement. This is your Senior Heifer Camp Division Championship. First and seconds back in the ring from classes 12 and 13. Heifers uh, come around here in this division. Uh, not many head uh, that, that showed, but uh, some nice cows, I think, uh, that these young people have. Take back in their programs. I think there's a, you know, the two heifers out of the last uh, class, I think both uh, do a really competitive job. They have a lot of good things about them. I think they do it to probably a little higher degree than the two heifers out of the first class. And so give them a nice hand uh, in this uh, third division, and uh, we're going to use the two out of the second class. Nice job. Senior Heifer Calf Division Championship results. Champion 5479 comes from class 13. That is MLFHF Princess Caitlin, 198E, Logan Mask, Covington, Georgia. Second, or revert, reserve in that is the second in the class 13, 5477. Sold Dreamer, 7674 EET, Sarah Rose Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Up next, we move to class 16, two entries. Summer yearling females. This will also be your intermediate division championship. Two entries coming in for class 16, summer yearling females, and your intermediate division championship. What's ahead for us on the show? After this class and division, we have a class which is also a division, another class and a division, and then a grand drive. So we're coming down to the uh, end of our Shorthorn show here rather quickly. How about this? Young man's doing a good job, brought a nice effort to town. Uh, definitely could have stood more competition relative to this class. We'll see what comes uh, next in this uh, May class, but uh, she's nice. Done a nice job with her. Uh, I don't know if this is your first time showing at the National Western, um, but if it's not, if it is, I think we ought to give him a nice hand uh, for coming out here. He's doing a good job. Result on class 16, 
a single entry, summer yearling females, first place 54.82, and that's your intermediate champion female as well. GCC Evolution Charm, 7102ET, Colton Greenhorn, Bellbrook, Ohio. My apologies. The programs switched their class 17 coming to the ring, single entry. This is 5486, so we don't have our division yet. My apologies. Again, another competitive heifer that comes in here, a single entry, tons of body, lots of rib shape, uh, lots of doability, low maintenance type of heifer as she comes in uh, to make this division very competitive between her and the young man's heifer. Nice job, we'll look at them, compare them here in a little bit, but uh, give her a good hand, we'll judge this division. Okay, two first place animals coming back in for the intermediate champion female selection. First place in class 17, late spring yearling females, 5486, Sol Rolls Bearing, 7606EET, Rihanna Obrecht, Harlan, Iowa. So 5486 will show against 5482 for the intermediate champion female selection. All right, uh, two really nice heifers, and they are a little bit different in terms of type, but uh, I think they're both good. Quality does come in a lot of different packages. In regards to the young man's heifer, I, I like the shape of this heifer. I like the condition that she's in. I think she handles her top line just a little bit easier and freer as she goes around the ring. Uh, she's a very up-headed heifer that gets your attention right away when she comes in the ring. To me, she's just a little fresher in terms of that. Uh, where I would change her, I would give her a little more lower one-third, you know, and just a, a little bit more body as she transitions. But uh, at the same time, I still think her upper rib shape is quite good, and she has some true shape coming out of her from behind. The female that won the May class there, she's a couple months older. You can kind of see that. You know, she's a little further along, it looks uh, like as well. There's more body. There's more performance in that female. I do like it. To me, she's a little stale, a little plain-headed as you get her out here and study her in terms of just her profile and her look. She's very sound. I like uh, the foot structure underneath her. Both the heifers move pretty good. Just some subtle differences. Comes down to a heifer that just hits me a little bit harder. And that's the young man's heifer here today. Give him a nice hand. Young lady will be reserved. Congratulations. Intermediate champion Female is 5482 out of class 16. It is GCC Evolution Charm 7102ET, Colton Greenhorn, Bellbrook, Ohio. The reserve 5486 from class 17 is Sol Rose Mary 7606EET, Rihanna Obrecht, Harlan, Iowa. Up next, we move to class 20 and the Junior Division Championship. Early spring, early female. 
seven entries in this class, 20. And also your junior champion female selection. So we have two more classes and divisions and then the grand drive.
unbelievable the amount of quality that's in this class. I like both the two heifers a great deal, obviously, here on the front end. This is just more of my kind. And uh, what I mean by that is that uh, both of them are elite in terms of presentation. Both of them just have a tremendous amount of eye appeal and style about them. Where this heifer is better, in my opinion, is in her heart and her forerib. She's more moderate size. She's very sound and athletic. The shape and the dimension in that heifer's body is real, and I like her. The female that comes next here in second, love the presentation, love the bone, love the foot size, really high on her from that regard. Female is deadly to look at from the side in terms of the strength of her top. She comes genuine out of her hip, into her pin set, really like her from that standpoint. To me, she closes up a little bit more than I like in terms of her forerib right there. Just gets not, I mean, she's very, very sound. She's just not quite as freewheeling as that one that wins the class. Incredibly, two nice heifers uh, to go one and two in that class. Good heifer coming next here in third. I appreciate the fact that she's springing. Really a nice bodied heifer that just really has a ton of doability and body about her. Still gets out and moves pretty well. She's getting heavy in calf, and I think it throws her off just a little bit, but that is a tremendous effort. Puts together a lot of good, in my opinion. Just has a little more stoutness to her uh, than the female coming next here in fourth. One and fourth, just very maternal looking from the side. She's feminine. She's a little loose uh, put together at times out here. She gets a little higher there in that tail head. Getting pretty critical of a really nice female. Drew a tough class. Uh, just like to give her a little bit more dimension. Dimension is not the Sefer's problem. And the young man brings a female that uh, just has a ton of power and hip. I think she's a real breeding piece and has some versatility to her if taken to the right bull to kind of complement her, smooth her out. And that's where I would just change her is up front and how she sits down, just make her a little bit square, smooth her out through the point of her shoulder there. But that is one stout, good looking, well presented female this young man has, just not quite my cup of tea. Female that comes next here in this class, tons of performance, tons of body. I like the dimension and width in her. She just labors some uh, around the ring, just doesn't want to come out and just stride quite as free for whatever reason out here, but a nice heifer in terms of her performance. Female that'll finish out the class here, kind of gives up some of that uh, dimension and just broodiness that we find in the rest of the class. Young man does a nice job. Uh, keep your head up. That's an incredible good set of females. Give them a big hand crowd, please. Here's the results on class 20, early spring early league female and your junior division champion. First place in champion 5491, CF V8 Mona Lisa reward 782 Soul ET, Ryan Wickard, Wilkinson, Indiana. Second in reserve 5488, Steck Chelsea, Riley Johnson, Jackson, Minnesota. In third, 5490, Kane Red Reba, 613E, Kane Agater, Seward, Nebraska. Fourth, 5495, Peak View Emily, 1704ET, Molly Cooksey, Rogan, Colorado. Fifth, 5582, Steck Chelsea, C703ET, Joseph Martinez, Live Oak, California. Sixth, 5493, DJS Cherry, C736, Jaden Schneider, Stanley, Wisconsin. 7th, 5487, Cash Farms, Candy Blossom, Shane Carlisle, Amarillo, Texas. Program placings for class 20 are as follows. 7, 2 in reserve, 5, 3, 1 in champion, 6, 4. In the rig next, two entries for class 23, junior yearling females. This is also your senior champion female selection with our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. After this class and division, it'll be the grand champion shorthorn female selection.
uh, the plot thickens now uh, because these two heifers are, are very, very competitive in my mind as well. Um, had an automatic division out of that class. This is the same way. So we'll get them all back out here and compare them in a little bit. But I do like this one. She's a strong heifer in terms of her performance. I like the rib, the body, the look, the eye appeal. Still gets out and moves real well. A very competitive heifer. It's going to give them all uh, they want here in a little bit. But uh, we'll get them together and compare them. That's a really, really nice one in my opinion. Female comes next uh, in second there. Heifer that's a little leaner in terms of her composition. I do appreciate that. Uh, but both of them do have some frame and some size to them. So with that, she doesn't have the body and just the doability, in my opinion, as you study her down under her heart and fore rib. But uh, two nice heifers that move really well for big, big cattle. Thank you. There's a result on class 23, junior yearling females and your senior champion female selection, 54.99, was first in champion, Steck Cherry, Tyler DeGroote, Edgerton, Minnesota. Second, 54.96. Our numbers are switched in the programs based on what was turned in. So your champion is 54.96, Manison McCormick, Dunlap, Iowa, with Soul Martha's Bow, and the reserve was 54.99. Steck Cherry, Tyler DeGroote, Edgerton, Minnesota. This will be grand champion, shorthorn female selection, and reserve grand champion selection with our judge, Shane Bedwell, Holt, Missouri. All the division champ reserves in the ring. As we get to our last grand champion selection for the day here in the State of Marina, we'd like to thank the members of the American Junior Shorthorn Association Junior Board, the directors, Gabriella Leone, Fowler, Colorado, Kendall Nelson, Seneca, Illinois, Macy McEnhoos from Lincoln, Nebraska, Lexi Wetzel, Fairbolt, Fairbolt, Minnesota, Allison Dragstrom from Amboy, Indiana, Public Relations from Seward, Nebraska, Kane Agater, Secretary from Marion, South Dakota, Sammy Schrag, Vice President from Grandview, Texas, Danielle Thompson, and the President from McPherson, Kansas, Jake Nickel. Thank you for your help today on the Shorthorn Show. Also, like to thank Faye Smith, 2018-19 National Alternate Shorthorn Lassie Queen. She's a daughter of Troy and Summer Smith, residing in Walton, Kansas, senior at Newton High School. She'll continue her education at Kansas State University, majoring in agricultural communications and minoring in agronomy. I'd also like to thank the National Shorthorn Lassie Queen from Danville, Indiana, Emily Fry, daughter of Tim and Corey Fry, senior at Danville Community High School. She'll be attending Black Hawk East College and major in animal science and also do livestock judging as well. Thank you to Faye Smith, our National Alternate Shorthorn Lassie Queen and Emily Fry, our National Shorthorn Lassie Queen, for their help today in the ring. Our judge, once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. He's the Chief Operating Officer for the American Hereford Association and Director of Breed Improvement. He got, he started his uh, college career at Butler Community College, which finished first, by the way, in the JUCO College Judging Contest here. He went on to Kansas State University, which finished reserve this year at the National Western. 
then went on to get his master's at Illinois. He was a longtime livestock judging coach at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, and we miss him there. <laughs> I miss him over there at CSU. His wife is Lacey. His two kids are Seeley and Chisholm, and they are either here or watching. We appreciate uh, Shane Bedwell's work. I noticed the Kansas City Chiefs tie was gone. <laughs> Hope he didn't burn that from last night. <laughs> but uh, we were all disappointed when the Chiefs did not make it in. So our judge, once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Been a pleasure working with you again this year. Shane, you take the mic whenever you're ready. Well, I appreciate it, Brian, and uh, lots of good things there. Uh, this I needed this show to kind of get me uh, back on track. I was down this morning, down last night. That uh, has a terrible loss, but uh, you you rebound from it and uh, and you go on. And uh, uh, this is a lot more important to all of us ringside than that. Uh, we have uh, everybody probably has a sports team or a hobby that they're really passionate about, but uh, uh, this is a business. This is a living. Uh, this is something that uh, gets my heart going and racing when you see cattle here in the state of Marina this good and this uh, full of caliber and just uh, this competitive in nature uh, that this show has been. Uh, you've, uh, you've really done something and uh, your uh, team that you have uh, that uh, in Kansas City, uh, we get to see them a lot. Uh, we interact on different boards. You've got a first class bunch. You really do. You have a first class bunch between uh, uh, your whole team there, and uh, I like working with them. Um, I hope you do as well. I appreciate the invitation from the Board of Directors, uh, the National Western, to come and judge a great show. And uh, you as a breed, I think you're doing a fabulous job uh, with these cattle. Uh, they're, they're not only just presented well uh, and have the appearance and have the quality to them, I, I think there's some real doability uh, back in these cattle, and that's good to see. Uh, there's some cattle out here that really have some good uh, feed underneath them, and that's very important, I think, to, to maintain and, and go with it. Your numbers that you're incorporating now in your shows is good. Uh, like we talked in the bull show, it's important to have them, um, and it's a balance. It's totally a balance of keeping those in check. Nobody was uh, out of compliance. Uh, that was impressive to see uh, in terms of your performance program, so that's good. You guys are doing a lot of good things, and you have some great things happening uh, in your breed. I heard your sale was a big success last night. You've got all these red coats and juniors in the ring helping make this show great too. So uh, keep up the good work. I'm going to go show you two champions. There was a couple of them that hit me uh, very hard within their respective classes and uh, nothing to take away from the Cavs down here on the end. I see a bright future in all three of them. I think they've got a big time future ahead of them. Three uh, seconds over there as well that are very competitive. We get into the summers. I like them a lot, but it kind of comes down to the big cattle. Uh, most often it does here at the National Western. I see a heifer here that I like in terms of doability, moderation, foot size, soundness, freshness. She ties it all together very well. There's a stouter heifer in behind her uh, that, uh, you know, has more power, has more substance. Maybe what I'd like to see her just a little bit better down into her feet, freshen her up just ever so slightly. And then we've got a powerful pair of seconds over there in behind them. So uh, it's been great. I've enjoyed it. Give these uh, exhibitors a nice big hand and I'll get you two champions. Your grand champion, Shorthorn Female, for the 113th National Western Stock Show is 5491. That comes out of class 20 in the junior division. That is CF V8 Mona Lisa Reward, 782 Soul ET, Ryan Wickard, Wilkinson, Indiana. That'll bring 5488 in consideration for reserve. And the reserve grand champion shorthorn female comes from the same division and class as your grand champion. That is 5488. Steck Chelsea C704 ET, Riley Johnson, Jackson, Minnesota. Congratulations to all of our shorthorn exhibitors, the Shorthorn Association. Thank you for bringing your animals to the National Western Stock Show and big, 
Congratulations and thank you to Shane Bedwell, Holt, Missouri. Once again,